Hello people. I'm very happy to say she's back on the trailer. Did have a few issues. I forgot to air up my barrels before, so my barrels are sagging, which is causing some of my strapping to look loose. So I'm going to need to put two PSI per barrel. And one of my guides, my Teflon bunks, not Teflon, sorry. It's a slices of barrel, HDPE, it curled over. So I need to take care of that. You see, I got a strap that's looks like it's loose. This one's kind of loose. That one's kind of loose because I have no air in it. I should have put air in it before I put it on the trailer, but it's kind of too late now. But she's on the trailer. I'm, I'm on official shore power. That's on 30 amp circuit. I need to put my pole back in the ground. I had a hole for it somewhere right here. I got to find it. Maybe right here. But yeah. So it shouldn't be long now. Should be in the water in the next couple of days. I got a few things to take care of before she goes in the water. I need to touch up some paint, do some sanding, but that can come after. So I got trim boards to put across the top. Bought the boards months ago. I never installed them. A lot of cleanup work to do. I do have some work to do in the trailer. I am overloaded. The trailer can only hold 2,800 pounds and uh, I got to be close to 4,000 pounds now. It was around 32 to 3,300 was my estimate before building the interior. Uh, I know I'm maxed out on my axle and these springs, but uh, it's going to serve just fine to make a launch or two. Uh, I'm going to have to upgrade to a 5,200 pound axle or finished uh, the project of my double axle trailer it'd be cheaper for me to buy the 5200 pound throw in here for now but yeah happy she's off blocks it didn't fall on me i didn't die i survived uh it's done so hopefully the next video i make be in the water I'm looking forward to it, which I'm sure some of you guys are looking forward to it as well. I do have to change my engine oil, change my fuel pump, and I'm going to change my, my battery cables are good. I think for now I'll leave my battery on the back deck to dry instead of rotting it in the cabin. But I definitely have to change my fuel pump. My fuel pump is bypassing and it's putting fuel into my base of my oil. I do have a new fuel pump. So I need to take care of that. And the cover latch doesn't hold because the gaskets wore out in the cover. so. If I forget the cover on as I'm riding, it just bounces off down the highway. I done lost it twice. So either I gotta buy another cover gasket or just remember to take the cover off for the highway ride. Put the cover back on. Or I could go ghetto and throw a bungee cord over it. Alright, well, not much to update. I did manage to move it, turn it around, plug it in my shore power, and I was able to well not pick up my mess that's all right here <laughs> i need to pick up that mess yeah thank y'all for tuning in see y'all in the water on the next vid hopefully unless i decide to finish my interior before i go ride but highly unlikely thank y'all for viewing